Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, I pray you are well. This is a short reminder in order for us to learn something about our life and our relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in order that we make more of our time and become successful people in this life and the next. And it's a short reminder on the concept of Rida Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means the pleasure of Allah or seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is one of the greatest, if not the greatest uh, thing we can achieve in our lives is to have the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah even says in the Quran, Waridwanullahi Akbar, that the pleasure of Allah is the greatest eye of all things. So when we do our fasting in Ramadan, when we give charity, when we pray our prayers, we should be seeking first and foremost the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What that means is that when we do any act of worship, of kindness, of helping somebody else, we keep in our hearts and minds the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward us, will be happy with us. We are fulfilling His commands. And this will make every act we do much more fruitful, much easier on our souls and egos. We'll find it much more inspirational that we want to go forward and help society because we're doing everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if this ingredient is missing in our worship, if this ingredient is missing in our acts of kindness, then they become robotic, then they become just duties uh, and you know uh, burdens that we feel we've got to get off our shoulders. So one very important aspect of our lives and our existence is to seek and attain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this comes in many ways. Seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes of course through obeying Him and following His commands. But we know that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa told us that the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in the good pleasure of your parents. So being kind to our parents, looking after them and obeying them and looking after their needs and you know doing things for them is a means of attaining the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In fact in a beautiful hadith somebody might ask the question well to please Allah sometimes we have to do things other people look down on us or they think we're you know, doing things that are not uh, worthy of being done we're wasting our time. There's a beautiful hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said um, that the person who seeks the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the expense of the pleasure of people, meaning the people dislike him for that, then eventually the people will like him, will be happy with him. But the person who seeks the pleasure of others, of other human beings, at the expense of the pleasure of Allah, i.e. To the, to the wrath of Allah, to Allah's displeasure, then eventually Allah will make the people displeased with the him. So this is a very important lesson and principle the Prophet ﷺ is giving us for our lives. Is wherever you do, wherever you go, whatever you want to achieve in life, seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant myself and all of yourselves the tawfiq. Tawfiq means the guidance and ability to do the right thing, to attain His pleasure, to be people who fast for the sake of Allah, give charity for the sake of Allah, help others, our neighbors, greet others, and be kind for the sake of Allah, and to attain the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.